How much doubt are you putting in the minds of your future bosses? Hopefully not much, but we'll check it out. I'm going to talk all about how you're collecting doubt points and you want to get rid of them. My name is Michelle Holland and we spoke about credibility points in blog number two in this series of the career game. Okay, now remember what we said, this is a career game, it is a game that we have to play and there's a bit of a balancing act. In the last blog I talked to you about how you collect credibility points and you gain them in your career because what you want to do is make sure that you are the person that they promote. You're the person that they give that great project to. You're the person that they give the pay rise to. That's what you want. Of course it is. What you don't want is to start putting doubt in the mind of the person making that decision. And the sad thing is it's really easy to put that doubt in the mind and we do these silly things all the time that might do that. Alright, so how are we collecting doubt points? Alright, well I'm going to give you a few really, really simple ones. If you're going for a job right now, okay, or you're going to go for a job in the future, make sure that you don't have things on your resume like date of birth, um, marital status, religion, um, how tall you are, what you had for breakfast. That sort of stuff has no bearing on the role, no bearing whatsoever. What it does do, if you've got your date of birth on there, or you've got your marital status, or if it's got, you know, I've got three children that I pick up from school every day, all of those things, absolutely they're life decisions and they're part of who you are. And you can talk about them later on, but what they do is put doubt in the mind of the future recruiter. Because... I might have an age bias, I might have a religion bias, I might have a gender bias, I might have a whatever bias. There's so many biases in this world anyway. What you don't want to do is put them all out there for people to grab hold of. Okay, they can worry about the biases later. You want to get over the line. Alright, so there are a few little simple doubt points that we don't know that we're collecting along the way. Another thing is, if I search for you on LinkedIn, and you don't come up. Well, that's putting a huge doubt in my mind, isn't it? Because, well, are you serious about your career or aren't you serious about your career? You know, 300 million people around the world, 300 million professionals around the world use LinkedIn. Why are you not? That's doubt. Okay, that's a doubt point, and that's a big doubt point. If you are in media, if you are in marketing, and you're not online, massive doubt. If you're in human resources, if you're in sales, if you are in really most other professions and you're not networking, doubt. You're not serious about your career. This is the sort of doubt that goes into the minds of those top leaders, that are making the decisions on whether you get the project, you get the pay rise, if they see any kind of doubt that you're passionate about your career, that you are f focused on your career, if they see any of that doubt, why would they entrust you with their business? Why would they? If you're serious about your career, then you'll look serious about your career. If you're serious about leadership, then you'll look serious about leadership. If you're serious about being the best employee you can be, then you will be the best employee you will be. If you're serious about your development, you will grab hold of every development opportunity. If you're serious about your career, you won't allow doubt to come into the minds of people who are making the decisions about your future. Don't get into the trap of thinking that this isn't a game that you have to play. That you can just be good at your job and the world will be your oyster. It's not true. There are people out there that are absolutely amazing at their job that they're doing. But it's their job that they're doing. Why would I promote you when you're awesome at the job that you're doing? 
I want you to be awesome at the job that you're not doing. The one that you could be doing next. That's what I want to see. If I'm making a decision, you're already working at that level and I can see it. And I can see it across the board. And if I don't work directly with you, if I'm outside of your business, then I'll still see that stuff because I'll hear it in the voices of the people that I'm talking to. If you're focused on your career, if you're passionate about your profession, then I'll know it because I will see it in how you behave, the development opportunities you take, the things you go and do. Do you know what they say? That young professionals nowadays, the ones that are really serious about their career, are spending up to 10% of their salary on their personal professional development. This is amazing. I'm so thrilled to hear this because it means that they are absolutely serious about their career and taking it forward because they're doing what needs to be done. And if you're not, then you're collecting doubt points. Get rid of those doubt points. Start increasing your credibility points by doing the opposite of all those things. I spoke in the last blog quickly about people who take on development opportunities and then they ask for a pay rise for them. Doubt. Major doubt going off. Yes, absolutely. If you've been doing a job at a higher level for 12 months, 2 years, whatever, and not getting any recognition for it, then absolutely you should be getting paid more than what you're getting paid. Or you should be in another organisation that's going to recognise you for that. If you've been given a project because you've put your hand up for a development opportunity and then you turn around and ask for a pay rise because of it, oh goodness, <laughs> I can't even tell you the doubt that that puts in the mind of a potential employer. You need to be networking, you need to be doing the things that you need to do to be in the next level and you need to be real about your career. Show people that you are passionate about your career. Show them that you'll do what needs to get done to be amazing in your career. Because then they will trust you with their business. It's no different for entrepreneurs and customers. If you can show that you're passionate about the things that you do, then your customers will entrust themselves with you. So. What are you going to do now? Have a look at how much credibility points that you're gaining against how much doubt points you're gaining. And make sure that you're playing the game the best way you can. Go out there and get that credibility because you will succeed at your career. My name is Michelle Holland and I'm the Kick-Ass Performance Coach and this blog series has been all about the career game. And if you want to learn more about the career game, then Hey, check out some of my other videos and check out Kick-Ass Performance because that'll take you to the next level in your career. Until I see you next time, stay inspiring.